Hey everyone, Laser Dave here again with TroTech Laser. I want to take you on a deep dive into the difference between marking stainless steel with a CO2 laser using metal marking compounds versus marking directly into the metal with a fiber laser. Metal marking compounds are made from a liquid ceramic-like solution that the laser can superheat, converting this compound into a glass, effectively fusing to metals, creating a permanent glass-fused mark onto the surface of raw metals. This compound allows a standard CO2 laser to produce an effective, permanent mark into metals. Metal marking compounds have many different brands and can be purchased in spray cans, paste, and tapes. The metal must first be cleaned with alcohol to remove any oils for this process to work effectively. In addition, the metal has to be raw, meaning it will not work with metals pre-coated with transparent paint, lacquer, or varnish. If there is a transparent coating or any kind of clear coating on the metal, the bonding process will not work. After cleaning the metal, spray the compound onto the metal surface with a consistent coating. Make sure to do this in a well-ventilated area and use a respirator, as this spray will put glass particles into the air, causing a health hazard while spraying. Once finished, drying is fast, taking only a minute or so. After dry, open the laser and place the coated metal into the laser and focus onto the metal surface. Open the Ruby software, then import and select the desired graphic and place that graphic into the prepare field to match the location of the metal inside the laser. Select the material from the materials database called Mark Solid Spray Metal. Push the file to the laser and start the laser job. The laser can process metal marking compounds quickly. For this stainless steel example, running a Speedy 360 80 watt CO2 laser with a 2 inch lens at 100% power, 60% speed, and 500 dpi. The laser will darken the compound, turning it black as it processes, creating a permanent glass fused mark onto the surface of the metal. Once complete, remove from the laser. The excess marking compound can then be cleaned with water with no hazards, exposing the fused laser mark on the surface of the metal for the finished result. This process will work on most raw, uncoated metals, however the laser parameters will vary based on the metal type. In addition to having to spend extra time to clean and pre-coat the metal, then clean the excess compound after lasering, the compound also has a cost that ranges from $55 to $105 for a typical 12-ounce spray can, depending on the brand and location purchased. Now, for comparison, I will run the same graphic with the Speedy 360 Flex 30-watt fiber laser. A marking compound is not required for a fiber laser to mark into metal. However, the marking compound will also work with a fiber laser if desired. Fiber lasers have the added benefit of marking any metals directly, even metals with a transparent coating. Fiber lasers do not require any metal preparation. Simply place the metal into the fiber laser and focus using a flex or fiber lens. Then open the Ruby software and import and select the desired graphic and place that graphic into the prepare field to match the location of the metal inside the laser. Select the material from the materials database called Metal Stainless Steel Fiber in this example and then push that file to the laser and start the laser job. This example will run a Speedy 360 30 watt flex fiber laser with a 3.2 inch fiber lens at 100% power, 5% speed and 500 dpi. Depending on the parameters, the fiber laser will produce a mark directly into the metal producing a dark brownish mark or an annealed surface mark. In this example, the engraving effect will be a dark brown look into the metal's subsurface. The fiber laser process requires more laser processing time. However, it does not require any pre-processing painting or additional additive costs to process the metal. Once complete, the fiber laser does produce some residue when engraving. This can be wiped clean with water or a damp cloth to showcase the finished engraved results. Here is the side-by-side -side comparison. The CO2 laser's pros are that the metal is markable with the CO2 laser, the processing time is faster, and the mark is a darker black mark. The cons of metal marking compounds are that there is an additional pre- and post-handling time as well as an additional cost for the marking compound that can add up with volume production. 
and a less durable surface mark because it is a surface fused mark that can be susceptible to shearing. And this process is ineffective with clear or transparent painted metals. The Fiber Laser Direct Mark Pros are that it's more durable than the marking compound because it is a penetrating mark. There are no additional costs and the Fiber Laser can penetrate through clear coatings into the metals. The only cons of a Fiber Mark is that it requires more laser processing time. However, it does not need additional pre-processing with the painting of the metal marking compound. And the mark is a brownish mark versus the black of the compound. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to see what I will laser next. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.